Souls-like is a game that's kinda like Dark Souls, but you may be wondering, where does the line get drawn for kinda? And that's a good question. So in these videos, I play the Souls-likes you very likely have not heard of. If that sounds interesting, this is episode 11 of Steam Dumpster Diving. All right, first up we got Cube Cube. It says it's a Souls-like action adventure game. And you know what? I kind of like it when they keep it simple. You know, it makes it easier for me to find for these videos. Uh, only has one review, and the review says, I physically cannot get past the tutorial, but it has a lot of potential. Thumbs up. So I wouldn't exactly call that a glowing review, but uh, yeah, let's check it out. Wait, this is actually a really interesting art style. What the f- What a fucking awesome intro. I'm invested now. All right, here's my guy. This is Cube Cube. Also, is that like a tornado in the background? What the fuck is going on over there? This already feels like a fever dream and I'm into it. Dude, check out this roll. Oh, we got a jump button. Wait, there's a double jump? All right, this game has a double jump. Hold on. This game might actually be good. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh! Oh my god. Is it making baby sounds? Oh, already on the first boss. This boss is named Program Preset Testing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, so... Here's the issue. Rolling is not giving me iframes. Or at least rolling in certain directions is not working. I can't tell if that's functional. See, yeah, like I was rolling there. I was rolling there too. Oh my god. No, 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 no phase two. Okay, thank god. Press and hold special attack button will launch cube cube. So I can launch myself? Wait. <laughs> Wait, it's a jetpack. Yo! I like this guy. Oh! Didn't think it would let me attack him. Oh no. Oh, hello. What are you? Whoa! Okay. Uninteractable door. If a door cannot interact, which is mean it has to open that other side. Door cannot open from this side. Okay, you know what? This filter is actually starting to hurt my eyes a little bit. So I think I'm gonna turn it off. Like I do kind of like it actually, but like something about it, I think just needs to be toned down just a hair. Oh, what is this thing? You friendly? Oh, no, 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 you're not friendly. <laughs> Give some actual platforming finally, <laughs> kind of. This game is really starting to hurt my eyes. Just like, this is actually hard to look at. <laughs> oh, I just realized the fog effect is like linked to the character. So when I turn, the fog turns, see? Oh, that's such a bad way of doing it. Uh, I'm, I'm stuck. Obviously this game is in a very early state. Um, I'm not totally sure why it's being sold at the moment. However, it was like just enough of a fever dream that like, I did want to keep going just to like see where it went. Uh, the combat is one of the worst feeling things I've ever experienced, but um, yeah, that was a trip. All right, next up we have the demo for Enchain. This is a Souls-like movement shooter, apparently. I found this game thanks to Funk, who said this game is best described as a Souls-like platformer. And you know, that sounds right up my alley. I'm a fan of movement shooters, you know, Ultra Kill. I love that game. So if it's Ultra Kill with a Souls-like spin to it somehow, uh, I think I'll really like this. Let's check it out. Right mouse to throw, right mouse to grapple. Oh, shit. So hold right mouse to grapple, pull, and then launch them. Okay. Oh, is there wall running? There's like wall sliding running too. What the hell? Oh, I bet I can, I bet I can get to that if I like run along the wall. Yep, that's cool. Also, I'm using a new keyboard than I usually use. Hopefully it's not too loud. Is that loud? Is that good? 
Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, there we go. Okay, hold up. Oh, wait, it actually has like swinging mechanics. Like there's momentum. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, I... I might love this game now. I don't know how impressive this looks like in the video, but like I've played a lot of games with grapple mechanics and like this is a good one. Grapple and pull lamppost to mark your resting place. Oh, is this the bonfire gun? Oh, wait, hold up. It's like a, it's kind of like a double jump. Yeah, you can like redirect yourself. This game has a grapple hook. This game has a double jump. It's vaguely Souls-like. It's like a 3D platformer. It's also a movement shooter. I think this game was like actually made for me. What the hell? Oh, you can, you can slide into people. Oh shit, this is a shortcut back to the first bonfire. So wait, this game even includes the whole shortcut and locking level design philosophy that Souls games have. So in case it wasn't obvious by now, uh, the way the combat works is you have to like drain their health bar until they go flying. And they have to grab them while they're flying and then throw them. I think that's basically the only way you can kill them. So you just kind of do like a drop kick in midair. And you can also wall jump with it, kind of. This looks like a randomly placed Minecraft block. Oh, it's another shortcut to the same bonfire. There's no way the person that made this game isn't a Souls fan. There's no way. You have a shovel? Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can knock them back too. Why does this game have so many good ideas? I'm just gonna kick you off. See ya. Oh, shotgun. God damn, this game is good. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's the trick. Okay, so you just have to like combo the fuck out of them. Minigun? Bonewood Marshes. We already got the Dark Soul Swamp level. <gasps> no! No! Wait, free play. Let me free play. The demo's over when I say it's over. Fucking hell yes. Crouch while in air and grappling enemy to surf. What? All right, let's try this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm in love with this game. I cannot stress enough how much this is my jam. This is my fucking jam. Incredible demo. I am looking forward to this game so, so much. I know Ultra Kill is kind of like the gold standard when it comes to uh, these types of movement shooters with this type of art style, but I think I like this one better. This might be the new best one for me. Not only is Unsighted one of the best games I've featured in this video series, it's also one of my personal favorites of the year. And that's why it's so wild to me that a game of this caliber has been slept on so hard. Like seriously, this game has gotten barely any coverage, but it's fantastic. The elevator pitch I'd give for this game is Soulsy combat with parries, dodges, and stamina management mixed with a Zelda world structure mixed with a time pressure gimmick. I don't think that really covers it properly though, so let's talk details. First and foremost, this game feels really good to play, from attacking to parrying to jumping to basically every other action, the devs just got it right in a way that few games truly do. If you play it yourself, you'll pick up on this immediately. Next, let's go over the time pressure gimmick I mentioned. Basically, everyone in this world is a robot, but they're slowly running out of time to live. Every NPC has an hour's remaining counter that appears below their name, with each hour translating to a little over a minute in real time. When the time runs out on an NPC, they become unsighted, which means they lose their minds in a very similar fashion to hollowing in Dark Souls 1. And then, you no longer have access to them for the rest of the playthrough. 
And yes, this includes merchants. Now this might sound like a terrible idea for a game genre that typically involves taking your time to find everything, but I found the background pressure of this timer looming over me pretty interesting as it encouraged me to play efficiently in a way I might not have otherwise. If this sounds too scary or annoying though, keep in mind you can turn this feature off, but I'd recommend at least giving it a shot. The devs are also clearly huge Zelda fans, and it shows in the best ways. You have fun items like double grappling hooks that let you attach to any surface, alongside a spinner item that you can use to ride rails or just anywhere. And you get to use these items in dungeons that, at times, rival Nintendo's own Zelda dungeons in terms of quality and design. Each of these dungeons culminates with fun boss fights as well, that feel pretty soulsy due to the combat mechanics. Oh yeah, by the way, you can play the whole game in co-op with a friend. This is a great addition that just works, and it really makes me wonder why this isn't a more common feature in these types of games. I could honestly keep gushing about features in this game for another 10 minutes, such as the cool leveling system or the hidden speedrunning mechanics that were built in, but I'm just going to stop myself here. I rarely give a full double thumbs up recommendation on the games in these videos, but trust me on this one, this is worth your time. Next up we have Starry Night, which is probably the wildest concept I've ever seen for a game. It's a Vincent Van Gogh boss rush, where you play as Vincent Van Gogh and fight bosses, but like it's in the style of his paintings. You fight through his paintings. As far as ideas for games go, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Uh, I only found this because it has the Souls-like tag on Steam, but yeah, let's check it out. How it is meant to be played. I would also argue this is how uh, Van Gogh's art was meant to be appreciated. Fighting with palette and brush driven by passion and love. Man, is this actually like, is this a sincere game and not just like a shitpost? I'm just Vincent Van Gogh with a paintbrush and a palette for a sword and shield. The Reaper. Dude. The blood splashing on the screen, like the red paint. <laughs> Block. Oh, we're so close. Pain is the most profound of all human feelings. <laughs> See, that's what it should say after you die in Dark Souls. Instead of just saying you died, it should say Pain is the most profound feeling. Obviously the gameplay itself is like super basic, but like I kind of love how this looks. I can summon crows. Oh my god. Oh, this is taking a- Okay, this is taking a turn. Dude, what the fuck is this fight? Will you cut off one and give it to me? Oh my god. I just cut off my ear. Oh my god! This is terrifying, and so cool. New ability unlocked, Scream from Hell. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is actually like such a cool interpretation though of like, of like the source material of like, you know, Vincent Van Gogh and him slowly losing his mind. Vincent Van Gogh puts the pain in painting. I have to fight myself. Stranger. Oh shit, it's every single boss. He's like turning into all the other bosses. I did it. Oh fuck, this is sad. It's not pain that makes a real artist, it's love. Man. This game's actually really sweet. I thought for sure this was gonna be like the funny shitpost game. But no, it's actually not. This is like an actual heartfelt tribute to Vincent Van Gogh and his art. And, you know, while the gameplay is very basic, I think it's actually totally okay. Because that's kind of secondary to what they're going for. You know, him succumbing to his own madness. Like that becoming a boss fight. Yeah, this is like genuinely a really cool piece of art. Alright, next up we got the demo for Project Lilith. You've been cursed. You've been betrayed. Now it's time for vengeance. Uh, yeah, let's go get some vengeance. Welcome to Project Lilith. I don't know, dual wielding seems cool. Let's just do that. Uh, abilities under construction. Press X or Y to attack. Press A to dash. 
Uh, they said dash with A, but I'm jumping with A. Oh, they meant B. Oh, wait, <laughs> why did I just ragdoll? Am I dead? What the fuck? What the fuck? I think I have to restart. <laughs> I think I have to actually restart. Okay. That's my special light attack. And what's my special heavy? Oh, okay. Got like a super jump launch attack. Okay, so it seems like this game's going for more... Maybe like aerial combat combo stuff. You know, like God of War, Devil May Cry. <laughs> we, we got the, the Devil May Cry rating. Okay, so they are going for Devil May Cry thing. I don't know, I... I don't hate this. I don't hate it. Okay, here we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let's try using a different weapon. Let's try the axe. Um, so is this the whole demo? Just this, like, one little room? I think it might be. You know, animations aren't bad. They're not bad. I mean, maybe the, the enemies kind of strafing around. Maybe that's not the greatest, but I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? So obviously this is like very bare bones. It's one room, kind of buggy. But like, you know, as a starting point for a project like this, uh, this isn't this isn't that bad. I actually can like see this game getting fleshed out a lot more from here. And uh, I hope they stick with it. Next up we have Unsold. So I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I was actually cursed by a warlock a few years back to play every game with the word soul in the title that also has a stamina system. And uh, yeah, here we are with another one. But yeah, it says it's a fast paced game and I thought the screenshots looked pretty cool. So let's check it out. Okay. Yo. Shoot me. Nice. That's pretty cool. Gotcha, gotcha. There's like a rhythm to it. I do think the timing's a little too tight, but I like it. You just choke them. <laughs> Did I just dash off the fucking ledge? Oh no, what have I done? Okay. He just backflipped off a cliff. Oh shit. All right. Oh fuck. <laughs> what? Am, am I? Can I control this? Am I dead? That was sick. Ooh. That was actually cool. This combat is like extremely fast paced and unique feeling and I liked how at the bottom of the screen, you could tell like the boss was actually following like the same rules of combat that you were. Like you could see like his status. That was cool. Very, very unique sense of style. Hey, I'm back actually. I was so slow at putting this into a video that between when I recorded it and now, the game released into early access. So in an effort to be thorough, I played the whole thing and it took me about three hours. Long story short, this game is flashy and cool, but I definitely feel more negatively toward it than I did originally, unfortunately. Basically, the combat isn't quite there yet, and it can be really finicky at times with stuff like frame-perfect inputs being necessary for certain combos. But this is incredibly impressive for what I believe is a solo dev project, and it's by no means a bad game. And you know, I think it could actually be refined to the point where I'd recommend it someday. All right, next up we got Death Trash. This is a post-apocalyptic indie Fallout inspired game. I don't know if this is like strictly a Souls-like, but I did have a few people recommend I try it. So I don't know, we'll see. As far as main menu screens go, I gotta say I'm a fan of, uh, you know, pulsating squid monsters, pretty good. 
Okay, so we got our dodge with stamina. I'm not gonna lie, that's one of the main reasons I'm including this game. Use ability puke anywhere. <laughs> what? Souls like. So far, all I've collected is trash, organs, and meat. Hey, what's up? Fuck. You having a good day? The best. Here, look at my dancing skills. Okay, get it. Does this game just, like, let you attack people randomly in a town? Yep. It sure does. It sure does. <laughs> All right, so it took me about five hours to do most everything in the current early access version of the game. The keyword I'd use here is potential. The game has the potential to be pretty interesting with its gore punk and Lovecraftian aesthetic combined with its inspiration from Fallout, but I think it's pretty lacking in terms of combat options, role playing, and just content overall given the type of game they're going for. So no, I would not recommend it at the moment, and this definitely isn't the type of game you'd want to spoil for yourself in early access, but do keep an eye on it if it looks cool to you and check out what people are saying whenever it fully releases. Next up we have the demo for There Is No Light. The screenshots caught my eye right away. And the Steam page says it'll have a 30 hour long storyline about family, war, and redemption. So really ambitious, but uh, is it good? Let's check out the demo. New Nimbus. This is pretty cool looking though. It's like very, very grungy, kind of grimy. You know, we just have a Lovecraftian tree. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, interesting. What the? Oh, is this like a bonfire? See, the real reason this is a Souls-like is because there's an animation for when you hit a wall with your sword. Oh, that's fun. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> he has one move, but it's good. It kind of reminds me vaguely of like Metro 2033, but with like a dark fantasy soulsy twist on it. Jeez. Holy fuck, there's a lot of enemies. Holy shit. Oh. Okay. Holy fuck. Ow, shit. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> These hitboxes are wild. So I want to emphasize here, there's no healing for this fight. You get hit like fucking four times and it's over. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so much harder than it needed to be. Thank you for completing the demo. Okay, so first off, I think this game generally looks pretty great. I'm really into the pixel arts. But something about the combat just feels a little off in a lot of ways, and it's hard for me to put into words. It's one of those things you kind of just have to play for yourself to truly understand. But... I don't know, it just, it wasn't really clicking with me. That being said, I think this is a pretty promising start, and I think it's worth keeping an eye on. But if this was, like, to release today in its current state, I would probably not recommend it. Uh, yeah, but keep an eye on it. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, uh, maybe subscribe. If you didn't like it, then I'm surprised that you're still here. How's it going? And as a reminder, I do actually read all the comments you guys leave. And, you know, maybe that's not the healthiest thing to do at this point, but I do do it. So if you leave a nice comment or leave a game recommendation, there's like a really good chance I'll actually see it. So I appreciate those a lot. And this video is probably going to come out right before Christmas. So I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and uh, hope you guys have a good New Year's.